Hey, what's up? It's your tech bro Charlie here and welcome back to where we take awesome out of the box. Now today we're going to be taking a look at the latest Zenfone that Asus has dropped in the Philippines. That's right, it's the Asus Zenfone 8 Flip. It's been a while since we got a Zenfone released locally. I think the last one was the Zenfone 5, and I think we did a video on the Zenfone 6. But yeah, it's been a hot minute, and they're back, and better than ever with the Zenfone 8 Flip. And since we're on Box PH, of course we're gonna start this off with the unboxing. Guys, I love this box. It's been a while since I received a phone that had packaging that made me stare. It quite literally looks like a perfect stone brick, and even has a texture that feels premium. On the front, we have stylized 8 branding, and guys, just look at this, it looks really cool. Right below, we have the phone's name, of course, which you can also find on the left side as well. And as usual, we have additional details on the back, but nothing really about the specs. Opening up the box, we have the paper container which houses the branded SIM ejector pin, documentation, which you should never throw away, and the hard case. Yup, not the usual jelly case here. Instead, we have a very premium looking and feeling hard case, of course to protect the phone, and it also has a nice grippy texture. You even have a camera lock switch here if you want to keep the cams from flipping. More on that later. Below that is the phone which we'll skip for now, and lastly we have the 30 watt charging brick and USB-C cable. Moving on, let's take a look at the actual Asus Zenfone 8 Flip. We got the beautiful Aurora Black colorway, but we also have a white variant as well. It looks like a sort of dark gray with a very slight bluish hue. Overall, I think it's really nice. That is, if you can actually appreciate it past the fingerprints, since we have a very shiny back that attracts prints like crazy. Although it's pretty easy to cover up with the also very nice looking hard case. More on the build though, we have Gorilla Glass 3 for the back and aluminum framing. Really good protection but at the price of a pretty heavy phone. Well, for me, 230 grams without a case. On the left side, we have a SIM tray, and on the right side, we have the volume rocker and power button in a nice blue. Then below, we have the USB-C port and half its stereo speakers. Sadly, no 3.5mm jack here, and it also doesn't come with a dongle, so you're gonna have to buy one for your wired earphones, or you can just go for TWS Buds. We have a 6.67-inch Full HD Super AMOLED display here, so you know you're gonna get some gorgeous colors and deep blacks. Plus, you get a 90Hz refresh rate, which is sure to give you a smooth experience without burning battery like a 120Hz one. And I'm never gonna get tired of saying this, but once you go 90Hz, you're never gonna see 60Hz the same again. And you'll never wanna go back. But the real selling point here is there is absolutely no disruptors. No do drop, no punch hole, nothing. And that's thanks to the flip camera we'll be talking about later. But thanks to this, you can enjoy your favorite shows on your phone like you may have never done before. No black spots or spaces to take you out of your favorite anime, k-dramas, or Netflix shows. Not to mention we have HDR10 Plus here too. Plus above the display, we have the other half of the stereo speakers, you know, to complete that entertainment experience. Here's a sample and I used one of my original songs if you want to check them out on Spotify. But yeah, it's not going to be exactly accurate because we're going to be using a microphone to record it. You gotta hear it in person to really hear the difference. Okay, finally, as mentioned earlier, we have a flipping camera module which houses a 64 megapixel f1.8 main camera, 8 megapixel telephoto, and 12 megapixel macro. These are great cameras that take pretty amazing photos with the right light. But what makes these cameras extra special is that they double as the phone's selfie cameras as well. With a simple press of a button, the entire module flips to the front, and you get all the benefits of the back cameras for selfies. I mean, check out these samples.
That also means you can take killer videos both with the front and the back since we have 8K recording at 30fps and 4K recording at 120fps. So not only is the phone great for watching media, but making it as well. Peace. If you're a vlogger or a blogger, this thing is perfect for you. You can even use different angles for some creative shots. And if you're worried about it snapping off if it falls down while it's flipped out like this, well, we got some safety mechanisms to keep it from sticking out while it's falling down. It senses the fall and hides the camera. But I am not gonna do that here. Next up, we have the latest and greatest here since we have the Snapdragon 888 5G processor. That's paired with 8GB RAM and 256GB storage, which should be way more than enough for most users. And needless to say, the phone can run any and all Android games without a problem. I mean, it is one of the latest processors out there right now. And I was able to enjoy Genshin Impact on this easy. So yeah, your phone's gonna run smooth and snappy, plus you have the 90Hz refresh rate, which will make everything feel like a breeze. But of course, you're gonna have to wait for our full review to see all the numbers to back up what I said. You also get 5G connectivity, so if your area has 5G, you can enjoy the super fast speeds with this phone. If your area doesn't have the 5G speeds, you'll have a super fast phone, and when you do get 5G, at least you're ready for it. And powering the phone is a huge 5000 mAh battery. You'll be able to use this for gaming, content creation, and media for a really long time. Charging that up is a 30 watt fast charger, and we all know the battery life and charging speed numbers in our full review, so again, watch out for that. So there you have it. More and more phones are sporting Snapdragon's AAA processor, but we have a straight up gem here since it brings something relatively rare to the table. The flip camera not only allows you to make great content both ways, but it also allows you to have an uninterrupted media experience, since we have no black spots for the front facing camera or anything like that. And yeah, like I said, it's been a hot minute since we got a Zenfone here in the Philippines, and with the Zenfone 8 Flip, I couldn't be more happy with their comeback. You can check out reviews on this and many other smartphones on Unbox.page. Also, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yup, subscribe because when we hit 250k subs, we're giving away a smartphone. So, don't stop subscribing and also don't forget the hashtag, sub to unbox. Hit that notification icon if you want to get updates when we drop our videos. And once again, it's your tech bro Cholo and I'll see you guys in the next one.